Hey folks, I'm Sam I am and I'm making this video because I want you to understand that we are at a crossroads where we all have the opportunity to choose the path a little less taken and make some choices and learn about some things that will set us up to change our lives in significant ways. I'm talking about in the period of a few short months, building your lifeboat, getting in it and sailing away, or I guess in this case, paddling away to the life of your dreams. The global financial system is undergoing the very early steps of being decentralized and that power uh, is being returned from the, uh, the establishment back to the people. You know, it's, it's, it, again, it is very early on, but it is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I think if you understand what's happening and know, learn to learn a, a great deal about a company called Ripple, who is at the epicenter of this transformation, you will put yourself in a position. You'll know exactly what you need to do uh, in order to put yourself in a position to take advantage of this massive wealth transfer that's about to, to happen. So if that sounds good to you, let's get started. Um, this is a huge topic. There's no easy way to really uh, explain it. Um, I, I'm a fan of conspiracies and inside information and uh, puzzles and riddles and clues and things like that. So I'm going to talk about something I call the Bee Gees. Um, this is a group of people that I think are kind of working loosely together to inform us, give us some information. Uh, there's a bearable guy, one, two, three, that showed up on Twitter and Reddit and started posting some clues. Uh, shortly after that, bearable guy, one, two, three, decoder, uh, created a YouTube account. We're going to go into to that in a little bit of detail. Um, and what he's doing is sort of uh, adding on to what bearable guy, one, two, three has informed us of or pointed towards, hinted at, and given us some additional things to look at, things to consider. Uh, there's also Fritz the Bear, who runs the video.xrp YouTube channel. Um, and now, I think he is, he's, he doesn't work for Ripple. He's been buying uh, XRP for quite a long time. I think that he is friends with somebody who works for Ripple or is connected to Ripple in some way. Um, and he's produced an absolutely wonderful series of mini documentaries on his YouTube channel that I highly recommend. I'm going to show you those. And uh, as of late, as of a week or two ago, we have this Ripple Riddler who has shown up on Twitter with a crossword puzzle and some additional clues. And we're going to take a look at some of the things that he's put forth as well. Um, okay, so let's start with let's start with Bearable Guy One Two Three. This was one of his Twitter posts, um, and what this is showing here is kind of some invisible hands. And I think what he's trying to say is there are invisible hand systems of control trying to manipulate Ripple and uh, gain control of them to put them to their own devices. Uh, and Ripple was kind of at the time fighting against that. Uh, and this is the castle pig. Now this one's pretty famous. It's got a lot of, a lot of details and clues to it. First thing we see right here is the XRP banner. Now if you don't know what XRP is, it's a token, a digital asset uh, that's used to transfer value or, or will be used to transfer value around. There's a company called Ripple uh, who is creating software for the banks, for the financial systems, for the world essentially to basically use XRP as an asset that transfers value around the same way the internet transfers email around. Um, of course, BTC is Bitcoin. That's what everybody knows. It's got the name brand recognition. And we see the Phoenix down here showing that that uh, brought about sort of a new transformation, a new paradigm. Um, now, if you'll, uh, oh, or let's jump over here. On the other side, we've got the US dollar. And we have the hidden hand here. I think that's representing kind of the powers that be. Uh, and they are manipulating their puppets. Now I'm going to show you what's written. There's little letters here and numbers on the puppet. Um, and then in the center, we've got bearable guy one, two, three. And he is looking over at the king born without a tongue who doesn't speak, whose scepter, his source of power, is being broken in half. Uh, so there's a lot of clues in just what's going on right here. 
is bearable guy shushing the king, telling him be quiet, or is he pointing to something? Um, there's a lot. I mean, you, there's a great uh, forum post on uh, XRP chat where they go into every detail like this. There are five dots in the crown, the eight right here, and this tooth right here is the ninth tooth out of 12. Uh, that's 589. You'll understand the significance of that in a minute. Uh, there's also this symbol right here references the Knights Templar, and it's the same one down here, uh, as well as the XRP asset. And so I think what they're saying is XRP is the tip of the spear. XRP will be king of the castle, and it is also the tip of the spear. And the Knights Templar are sort of guarding over uh, this entire process. Quite interesting. Um, so let's, let's look at the puppet. Uh oh I think I might have broke it. There we go. Um, let's look at this puppet right here. Uh, this is kind of blown up, and somebody has gone through and um, written out for us some various translations. These are in, like, base 64 or hex or binary, uh, and once you convert them back to ASCII, you get things like IMF, the United Nations, SWIFT, which is the basically the backbone of the uh, global financial system used to transfer money. It's slow and efficient, takes several days, has huge error rates, um, so it's getting replaced by Ripple, essentially. Uh, you've got the World Bank right here, the G20. They're giving you first quarter $5. Uh, this is, I don't know if this is Federal Reserve or Russia or something, uh, G20. You've got the SEC, and the PBC is the enforcement arm of the, the, uh, the powers that be, essentially. It's even tied in telling you they're controlling the crude oil prices. So a lot of detail in just that one little piece right there. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, if you want to really understand this, I would suggest you go read the Bearable Guy 123 thread on the XRP forums. Uh, it's, or XRP chat. It's a hundred and something pages long. There's a lot to it, but it's a lot of good information in there. Okay, here's another one where... Um, Bearable guy was telling us that there's this giant elephant in the room. Everybody was saying, well, who, only the banks are going to use this thing. Uh, the, you know, it's, the, it's too big. I, you know, nobody would ever want it. And they're saying, he's telling us here that, no, that's not a problem. The elephant in the room is disappearing now. Xspring changes that. If you don't know what Xspring is, that is the incubator. Uh, Ripple's done something very smart. They have a billion dollars sitting in the bank. Uh, and they're using that as sort of strategic weapons along with uh, their reserve of XRP that they hold. And XSpring is sort of an incubator. So if, you're a, if you have a company or an idea that you want to uh, use, utilize XRP as an asset to sort of enhance the uh, XRP economy, the usefulness, the utility of that token, uh, XSpring will help give you seed funding to make that happen. And there are uh, a couple of those, Codius and Coil, uh, I believe, are two of them. Uh, so that's happening. I mean, there's, um, let me jump to the adoption life cycle here. So this is the technology adoption life cycle. I think right now we're right in here. I think by the end of the year, we'll be, we will have crossed this line into early uh, majority adoption. Um, I think this process is probably going to be five to 10 years somewhere in there before we end up, you know, somewhere out here. And, uh, you know, Ripple is right here. There's also a, a B, and C business category that goes with this. The A businesses are the cutting edge, early adopters, that sort of thing that are going to buy this brand new product with these new features that may be clunky and hard to use. Uh, then there's the B business where you've got, you know, the, the masses come in flocking to your product, a lot of growth. You're trying to meet capacity and demands and that sort of thing. And then eventually that tapers off as you get market saturation and you get the laggers, the people who just really drag their feet. Uh, and those are the C businesses. Uh, when I was in telecom, uh, landline was a C business because only old people have telephones. They're not getting rid of it because it makes them money every month or, you know, it's a cash cow. They're just constantly ringing the cash register with that, but they know they're not putting new investment into it. They're not growing it. It's a, it's a dying business that will one day disappear. So what Ripple's done by creating X spring is 
while they're going, you know, about to cross into the early majority of the adoption life cycle, uh, right behind that, thanks to X Spring, they have some new A businesses coming out that will follow, hit the, the adoption curve shortly behind them. And they can keep that going and keep uh, the utility and the usefulness and the capabilities of this digital asset increasing over time. It's, it's a very smart model. Uh, something I just want to make you aware of. So let's go, let's see. Mm, let's go to the next slide here. Now this is probably the most famous one. Um, there's a, a lot of information on here as well. Start with the fact that uh, this is the UN building. You've got all the flags of all these countries. So right off the bat, they're saying, hey, we're working with the UN. You know, we're going to be the global standard. Um, they have their the Ripple logo on this flag right here, which is the flag of Malta. There's significance to that. I'll tell you that in a minute here. And then right up here, this is what everybody gets all excited about. It says dollar sign 589 plus end of year 2018. So this is uh, this is more than a price prediction. I think it's an indication of price. I don't think it's a price prediction. Um, and it's a code as well. Because if we look at 589, it just happens to be the atomic weight 58.9 of cobalt. Now, they didn't say dollar sign 58 dollars and nine cents they said 589 for a reason so i think that indicates that what they're saying by the end of the year that the price potentially is not going to be you know in the hundreds of dollars or they would have said 5890 instead of 589 i think they're saying that it's going to be well in excess of that but at the same time they're using 589 to let us to sort of clue us in that the thing that's going to make that happen is cobalt. Now, what is cobalt? Well, just so happens that Ripple has a new uh, algorithm that they're developing called cobalt, which will reduce the transaction times to one second. Uh, it has some other key features. I think I've got a slide. Yeah. Uh, it will allow the global financial system because of its consensus protocol and throwing out um, arguments or, or transactions that are in dispute that don't reach consensus, it will in, in effect slow down versus stopping. And that's a huge thing for the global financial system to have that kind of stability to where if it runs into trouble and, it, and it's, you know, at some point it will, that the system will just kind of slow down, but keep trucking along and keep the payment and the money's flowing versus the current system that can hang and have to be kind of restarted or, or uh, reset, essentially. And this also represents a, technolo a technological leap that I think is almost uh, in scale to the leap between Bitcoin and XRP. If you don't know what that is, you should really... The, Ripple has, has some really great uh, marketing information out there about the basics of their products and so forth. Definitely go look at that if you're not, if you're hearing about Ripple for the first time watching this. Um, so what they're saying here is that we've got this big change coming by the end of the year, 2018. And it could, I, I think they, they're, they're suggesting that the price is going to be well in excess of that, but it's definitely below $5,890 or they would have added a, that extra digit. So uh, I think, you know, we might even see Ripple or XRP that is six to $1,200 by the early next year. Uh, maybe not, but I think that's kind of what they're suggesting. Now, one other thing, this, this was posted months ago, and you see the Ripple logo here on the Malta flag. Well, Malta has come out as the number one uh, exchange or volume country who's has the X, how do I say this? Sorry. Uh, the XRP volume in Malta is more than it is anywhere else. So they're number one for volume for XRP. And that just happened like a couple weeks ago. Uh, they have created kind of like a Hong Kong where they're really hands off. They want to stay out of the way with regulators. They want to let the industry develop and and not choke it out, which is kind of more like what's happening here in the U.S. Uh, and so what that's suggesting is that, again, this is somebody who knew that 
Malta would be a big deal for Ripple for XRP. Um, and, you know, take it for what it's worth. Uh, this is somebody that posted on Twitter, uh, but they also posted some things that gave you, should have given, given you some reliability or some indications that they are an insider or have some inside information. Okay. Uh, let's move on to bearable guy one, two, three, um, or one, two, three decoder. This is his YouTube channel. It is still up. Uh, what the claim, what these guys claim. And I think this is kind of one group of people that are loosely affiliated, uh, with one another in various ways. Um, but what he pointed or what they claimed, I think in a comment in one of the live streams was that Twitter shut down bearable guy, one, two, three's account and deleted it because of the price predictions. And they didn't want to get into to legal troubles. Um, this one, however, is still up. It doesn't do any kind of price predictions. It gives lots of hints and lots of new riddles and puzzles and codes and things. I mean, just look at the top of the page right here. We've got the UN logo. We've got Ripple shaking hands with the UN. There is a signed contract behind them. They're telling you the deal is done with the UN. Uh, you know, that's, that's going to be really significant. And you can see they've done a lot of videos here. In the early days, they started out by taking different aspects, different aspects of um, the bearable guy, one, two, threes puzzle or the castle picture here, and are explaining some things. We can look at uh, this one right here. Uh, he's telling us that the king was born without a tongue to share his future plans. The rule of power belongs to you who can break the scepter in his hands. So what they're saying right there is that if you know what to do, how to take advantage of the situation, you can break the powers that bees control over you, at least uh, their financial domination over you, because the scepter can be broken. Uh, the jester will laugh at those who mock and doubt his hidden works. So there he's talking, that's a comment to bearable guy saying, hey, you know, there's always going to be detractors, people who think that this is a joke or um, uh, somebody doing a pump and dump or whatever else. But I think down the road, after this stuff all kind of comes to be and unfolds, people will be able to look back on this and realize, holy shit, it was right out in the open. Why didn't I find out about this? Um, For you who follow the eyes of the king, your wealth will match his worth. Now, if we go back, uh, let's see if I can find it here, to the original puzzle, the king is looking straight over at the teeth of Bearable Guy. And of course, there's 12 teeth here. This is the ninth teeth. We are right here, okay? Um, I think this has kind of been pushed out to November. Uh, we'll, we'll get into more detail about that, but... That's what he's referencing. And I think this is a reference to the price of the, the digital asset XRP, which is the tip of the spear. Very interesting. Okay. Um, so there's lots of those. And if you actually go into them, there are comments left by bearable guy, one, two, three decoder. Here's one right here. It says, my team and I have been working on, have been working overtime, folks. Something big is coming with, uh, I think it was 48 or 53 exclamation points. Um, there's lots of, lots of little clues and things from like the length of the video sometimes translates into a date. There's all kinds of wonderful little clues in these. Uh, so it's, and the commenters talk about that. So it, it, you can spend a lot of time digging into these. I have, I've, selected some, a lot of the comments. I'm going to share some of those with you as well. Um, but anyway, it's definitely worth looking at this one right here. Uh, there's 12 of these dots. If they're months, then we are right here. And what they're saying is that November and December, there's another one that says 11 one is the date. And that may be the release of cobalt and the start of just the basically the opening of the floodgates of the global financial system coming in here to start using this asset. 
Uh, this right here is uh, a credit card. There's two of them. I think one of them is um, Revolt or Revolt, and the other one is Wirex, to where you can actually load XRP onto a credit card, and then you go spend it anywhere that takes Visa, MasterCard, whatever the, the issuing card is. Um, so that's come about. Um, there's These are some of the more recent ones. I think I've got pictures of some of those that I want to go into detail on here. Give me just a second. Oh, don't do that. Okay, so here's one. Uh, they're telling us people who say XRP could never hit $100. There's a lot of people who think that because there are 100 billion of these XRP tokens. That's compared to Bitcoin's 21 million. That's a huge number. But you need that if you're going to be the, the backbone of the global financial system. They're saying people said Ripple will never reach a penny. And for a long time, it was sub one penny. And people said, oh, it will, there's just too many. It'll never reach a penny. Ripple will never reach 10 cents. Ripple will never reach a dollar. They're saying now that it will never reach $10, never reach 100, never reach 1,000. What he suggests in this quote is march on. Don't look in the rear view, just in the windshield. And of course, you have the uh, Roman legion leading the way. There's some symbology there as well, I'm sure. Um, I can't remember if this was Bearable Guy Decoder or if this was from uh, the original Bearable Guy on Twitter. But this is the crossing of the Rubicon. And there's various codes in here. I think this banner translates to um, Codius, which is their smart contracts platform. And of course, this is going to be the future emperor of the Rome crossing the Rubicon which is really the point of no return. And so they're letting us know that, hey, this is a done deal. We have contracts. We have agreements. We have crossed the Rubicon. This is happening. Get on board or be left behind. Um, this is a the background of one of those videos I showed you. It's a fairly recent one. It's right here. Um, let's see. Okay. And this is kind of loaded with clues. I forget what these translate to, but essentially what this is telling us is that there's certain things that have to happen before we get to the, audit, the pot of gold at the end of the XRP rainbow. Um, this right here represents regulation. And if you look at the laptop, that bottom right there looks like the Federal Reserve building in Washington, D.C., like he's maybe logging into the Federal Reserve uh, you've got the corporates back here represented by this person. You've got the banks back here. And you've got, uh, I'm not sure if this is a banker or if this is just representing liquidity in the marketplace. But what they're telling us with this picture, oh, and you've also got the the judge's gavel up here, which is talking, I think, about lawsuits. And th there have been a lot of um, lawsuits, which I think have been launched by the banks who want to drive the price down so that they can go directly to um, Ripple and buy the XRP off the market uh, at, you know, 30 cents instead of $1.20. Uh, there's a huge incentive for them to do a lot of these things to drive the price down so they can buy it right now because it's a done deal, remember. Uh, and they know that once this thing takes off, it's going to go crazy. So I think what they're saying is we need liquidity in the marketplace. And in the last couple of weeks, there are dozens of new exchanges, uh, not dozens, but a great deal of new exchanges popping up that are not just using XRP, but using XRP as the base pair uh, for the exchange. A lot of them are exclusively using XRP because it's so much faster. It's so much more efficient to move money, move value around. Um, they're also saying over here that uh, the regulation has to be worked out. Um, I've got actually a slide on that. Uh, one of the messages, I think it may be in the description to this video, uh, decodes to the following. It says, hello, XRP community. It's very important to understand the need for regulation. Our industry needs regulators now more than ever. Some of the new partnerships Ripple has acquired absolutely requires regulation in order for XRP to be of any use. Uh, we will be successful in this area. Regulators want us to succeed more than you realize. More videos coming soon. Hold your XRP. Um, so what they're saying is some of the stuff that they're doing actually requires these got this. Oh, let me get my mouse to the right place. Requires this to be uh, worked out right here. Uh, and that also includes getting the corporates online so that they're ready to go. There's a lot of moving parts in this. 
and the banks are kind of waiting in the background for all this to happen. They're not going to touch it until, you know, they're, they know they're not going to get smacked down by the regulators for doing something that they're not supposed to do in the first place. So we're seeing all of these things happen right now. And if you go back to uh, even the most recent video right here, you've got the dots up here again. They're saying it's a bear market, sleep peacefully, don't worry about it. We're right here in this yellow, uh, which, uh, what is it, September? We've got basically a very short time before the, some major announcements, the release of Cobalt, the, some major announcements from the global financial system, letting everybody know that this thing's about to go live. And we've got then two months of green, green light, green grass for Ripple and XRP. Uh, I think that's what they're telling us here. Um, and here's another, this is from another one. Uh, back uh, back here, the third video. It says, I know many of you are worried about the SEC. However, we are confident that our XRP asset is not a security. We don't let this message discourage any of you. We are too close to several life changes announcements to give up now. I can't reveal much, but you need to keep your resolve. Stay the course. Q3 and Q4 are almost here. And of course, we're in Q3. Um, we're seeing all these exchanges come online. We're seeing all this liquidity show up. We saw what we think was a test run of XRapid on SBI, uh, one of Ripple's partners in Japan, testing two of their payment rails. And it drove the price of XRP up, I think, 6% roughly inside of a couple hours of use. Um, so all the signs of this thing sort of coming together. Now, encoded in here it's, uh, is Coinbase, C-O-I-N-B-A-S-E. Uh, I think Coinbase was initially supposed to list XRP as a base pair. I think they may have gotten cold feet because of the regulatory environment and uncertainties or just something on their end. Um, but we have other exchanges, uh, DCEX, I think is right down the street from Ripple in San Francisco. They're going to carry XRP, I believe exclusively as their base pair. Uh, so liquidity, you know, the Coinbase, whatever happened there is not really relevant. There's other people coming in to provide liquidity. Uh, so, you know, these things are getting sorted out now. Who are these guys and what are they doing? I think they're here to, to help us, as I've said. Here's a couple quotes that I pulled out from some of the comments of these videos. Uh, here's one. My team and I have been working overtime, folks. Something big is coming. And that's the one that's got uh, 48 or 53 exclamation points that maybe a countdown to something I didn't check. Uh, here he's responding to a question that somebody asked in one of the videos. And he's saying, I'm in front of my computer screen. What I see would make most people cry tears of joy. Since I have security clearance, I must keep this to myself. Please, please be patient, folks. Now, that's a clue right there. Why would he have security clearance? Well, maybe if he's working on something that is of interest to national security, like the Federal Reserve and the, the global banking systems, back-end systems, that's something they're going to want somebody to have because not it's not just that they're checking out who's who they're giving access to this network, but they're also uh, you know the nationals um, top secret security clearances come with huge penalties and threats of very long stints in jail, so they can hold that over your head to to sort of keep you quiet and force you to comply and not get too far out of line. And so there's some very strict guidelines that um, if this is true, that these guys are trying to work within so that they don't go to jail. Um, but, you know, here's the, another picture of one of their videos. They have uh, turned this thing around right here. And I think that this says cobalt right there. You can't read it, but the letters are the right shape. You've got ripple. You've got ripple. You've got ripple up here on the screen. I, you know, I think this is in their office and they may even be showing us that this is bearable guy one, two, three back here. Um, so yeah, you know, lots of interesting little bits. This is another one that I liked. Um, this is suggesting that, uh, there will be an announcement made in the future in October or November. 
uh, where the person behind the door, which may be a certain orange haired fellow announces something related to XRP and it's going to make some arrows do this thing, whatever that could possibly mean. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to Fritz the bear. Um, like I said, I think this is a, a friend of some of the employees. Um, he's been a Ripple investor for a long time, he said in one of his uh, chat conversations or uh, comments of his videos. These are great for beginners. If you don't know much of what's going on in the Ripple uh, community, uh, what they've been working on, what they're developing, what it means for society in general, I highly, highly recommend this video series. He's got a playlist where you can watch it. For some reason, it starts at 11 and goes back to 1. I would start with 1 and go in the order that he released them. These will kind of point you towards the important bits and give you things that you need to think about and know about that are happening, that are underway. Um, there's a great video here from Christine uh, Lagarde about the IMF, and she talks about... Uh, there's an interview right here. Let me see if I can play this. About digital, because digital can be used both ways. Uh, if you look at what's happened, where she was at least strongly dominated all now uh, on, on digital support. I think there are massive changes taking place at the moment, which everybody needs to be attentive to. Would you ever buy any for yourself? No, I didn't, and it's too expensive for me at the moment. <laughs> Christine She's talking about massive so changes global coming global. that will disrupt the global financial system. And I think what she's talking about is the adoption of Ripple, is the, fee, the central banks of the world taking on this new standard because it offers such greater capabilities than what exists today. Uh, and I think Fritz the Bear has a really good picture of the, the sort of... Uh, crypto sphere, uh, especially related to XRP and what's happening out there and what it means. And his video series is just absolutely excellent. I highly recommend it. Go watch it if you haven't seen this. These are all roughly about an hour, uh, but again, very informative. Okay, uh, last here, we've got the Ripple Riddler. Now this guy showed up a couple weeks ago on uh, Twitter. He's been putting some puzzles. Uh-oh. Ah, I hate the Twitter interface. He's been putting out some various puzzles. Uh, there's a crossword that we just solved. Uh, I'm going to talk about one of the clues there. Uh, but anyway, there's another one. There's pictures saying Ripple will be XRP up here will be king of the castle. Uh, the king is, has a Ripple uh, belt buckle. The, his logo, uh, his belt buckle is the Ripple logo. So let's talk about this right, this puzzle right here. Um, there's lots of clues. The one I want to focus in on is this November here on the bottom right. Um, that was a, the clue for that, for the word November for 20 across was the German mark collapsed to the floor, the Mary Celeste sailed away, and then no more. So German Mark, I think, is, of course, talking about uh, the Weimar Republic and hyperinflation where they were workers were loading their pay into wheelbarrows, running it out to their wives at lunchtime so that they could run to the store and buy whatever was left before the money was worth even less. We have the exact same thing going on in Venezuela. People are starving in the streets. They're fleeing to other countries. It is an absolute tragedy down there. They're stoning cows and pastures to rip the flesh off the bones because they're, I mean, they're starving. This government has let them down. Um, and then the Mary Celeste was a ship that showed up just deserted. The crew, uh, their things and belongings were all there. The lifeboat was gone. Uh, and, you know, the ship was still functional and intact. It's just, it was deserted. And then it was... Um, Put back into service somebody else bought it it was put back into service and that captain wrecked it on the rocks in an attempt to commit insurance fraud and was found out and i think thrown in jail so that's the fate of the mary celeste and it just it has come to synonymize something that is deserted and so 
what I uh, then took, I posted to Twitter this comment over here, and I'll have to fix this later so I can make these bigger. Uh, somebody had, had posted in response to this puzzle right here that uh, basically there's nothing new. There's no new information. You know, anybody could have put this together. You're, you don't have anything to offer us really. And I responded with, well, not necessarily too much focus on solving the puzzle and not the meaning. And so I did this little thing here that says Weimar inflation leads to desertion, leads to November, is a huge clue. The Fed is out of bullets. The global reserve status threatened. Rates must rise. The dollar will fold. FedGov needs to jump ship. Is I, I actually put XMR, but it's XRP. Is XRP the lifeboat? Uh, and the Ripple Riddler responded, very good, Ripple me this. Everyone wants instant answers. Now, he can't answer and say, you're right. I think that would give away too much and possibly put them in danger. But uh, I think that's their way of saying you're on the right track. Um, now, that's exactly the situation. The, the interest rates has, have to rise. Uh, otherwise, we're going to start seeing uh, dangerous levels of inflation and loss of confidence. So the Fed's kind of in a catch-22 of their own making. They have to raise interest rates, but they can't raise them too high because the payments on the interest alone are going to sink the federal government and they'll have to refinance or default or, you know, who knows what kind of shenanigans they will come up with, but it will cause a huge confidence loss and that's an issue for them. So what I think Ripple Riddler is telling us with this one single clue out of several here is that, uh, you know, the, the dollar is at a dead end. It's, it's not disappearing anytime soon, but they need to jump ship. And I think they are jumping ship to XRP, to this new financial backbone, and they're going to leave all of us holding the, the fiat bag while they, you know, move to the more attractive, more valuable asset that's going to preserve its value versus the dollar that's going to continue to lose value as it loses utility and demand to a better alternative, which is Ripple, XRP, and various other digital assets. Okay. I think that's pretty much what I wanted to cover. Um, you know, I just want to summarize here. I think the BG, the BGs are here to help. Um, they, there's comments in their videos where, you know, they're, uh, if these guys are insiders and they've been working for ripple for a long time, they're going to have tens, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions of XRP, cause they were buying them when they were less than a penny. And they, they saw the vision earlier than any of us. So they're probably already multimillionaires and will likely many of them become billionaires. Um, but they understand that there is a massive wealth and power transfer taking place and that, uh, you know, anybody can position themselves. I mean, take the, take the 600 right now. Ripple is, uh, I think it was around 30 cents. Yeah. 29, nine. So you can take a dollar, turn it into three ripple if let's say 600 uh, XRP is worth 600 at the end of the year, like they're talking about, and I'm not saying it is, I don't know any more than you do. Um, I'm just telling you what I've looked at and what they're suggesting, but say it's 600 and you've got three for a dollar, that's $1,800. If you put 10 in, that's 18,000, $10, your cup of Starbucks in the morning could buy you a new car. I mean, that, that's the kind of opportunity that we're talking about. A thousand, 10,000, that really starts to add up very quickly. Um, so they see that there's this huge wealth transfer taking place and the people best poised to take advantage of it are the people manipulating and controlling the system today, the bankers and the wealthy and the elite. So by doing this the by creating the BGs and getting the word out there they're letting average people like you and me understand the opportunity that exists out there today and they are creating a crop of people who will be the future innovator innovators who will go out and create the replacements for Facebook and Amazon and you know whatever else um, we will be the ones with the resources 
the people who set themselves up to take advantage of what's coming will be the ones who have the resources to guide us into the future. And I hope a lot of you choose to do that in ways that increase freedom and liberty. I think that's the opportunity. And I think that's what they want to help as many people. They want people to build their lifeboats, get in them and sail away and start making a positive difference in the world and change the balance of power. We have the opportunity here to change the balance of power and put more power into the hands of the people where it belongs. I'm Sam I am. That's all I got. Give you something to think about. I'll be back with more videos and uh, we'll take individual topics here and there and kind of dive into some of this stuff. I love talking about this. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you later.